For more about all of this, we are pleased to be joined tonight by Dan Rather, the longtime CBS News anchorman who is now the anchor of Dan Rather Reports on HDNet. Thanks very much for being with us. Delighted to be with you. You have been to Afghanistan many times, most recently in December. What changes did you find when last you were there? Well, first of all, uh, the mission of the United States and the Allies has taken a downward turn in the last year, year and a half. I'd say that's the biggest difference that I could see. At its core, Afghanistan never changes. It's tribal, it's a big opium producer, all these things you know. But the biggest change is what I just described. The United States is about to double its commitment of U.S. troops, going from 30,000 to 60,000. And we understand that many of them will be sent to, to very remote areas. So shouldn't we anticipate there's going to be an increase of casualties? Definitely. This may be the tipping point year in Afghanistan. But once the snow clears in the mountain passes of the northern part of the country, uh, it'll be a very bloody year. I expect there'll be a big jump up in casualties. There'll be a lot of headlines about Afghanistan that are not going to be very promising. France today just came forward and said that it has no plans to send any more troops to Afghanistan. When you spoke to the U.S. commander in Afghanistan, did he express at all any concern about the commitment of foreign troops? Big concern. It's a major problem. Uh, this is the major test for NATO. If NATO does not succeed in Afghanistan, it's hard to see how its long-term future is going to be anything positive. But country after country that came in after 9-11 when we first moved into Afghanistan has frankly, they have not met uh, their promises. In many cases, uh, they send a few troops, but they limit what the troops can do. In one case, they don't allow their troops to have live ammunition in the chambers of their weapons, that sort of thing. And our commanding general, uh, the U.S. general who's in charge there, is deeply concerned about this. But one point I think is very important for the audience to understand. We, we have to increase our military presence in Afghanistan, but we cannot win militarily. And our military people will tell you that in a second. If we have to accomplish our mission in Afghanistan, however you view that mission, it will be with the preponderance of so-called soft power, building schools, water wells, bridges, streets, roads, and giving the people some sense of self-determination. Soft power will prevail in Afghanistan if indeed we are to prevail. We cannot do it militarily, and our soldiers, sailors, Marines, and airmen know that. Well, to that end, we know that uh, Richard Holbrook, a person who you know well, has gone to the region now, and he's meeting in Pakistan. He will go to Afghanistan and eventually India. What can he expect? What can he do in the short term for some sort of quick result? Well, I don't think there can be any significant quick results in Afghanistan. We have to understand that this is a long-term mission in Afghanistan. By long-term, I mean 7 to 15 years. That's number one. Number two, the key to anything approaching peace in Afghanistan is in Pakistan, in the so-called territories in the northwest of Pakistan. And I, I expect um, Ambassador Holbrook to concentrate his efforts on there because it's to separate the, the al-Qaeda from the Taliban. And you can't do that without getting a, a much bigger effort in those western territories. Now, I think, this is my opinion, this is a prelude to eventually having a regional conference. This is another thing Americans need to understand. There cannot be any peace in Afghanistan without the cooperation of Pakistan, India, Iran, Russia, China, and the Central Asian uh, republics that border the southern part of Russia. So I think there'll be a big effort to do much better this year as a prelude to having this regional conference. Cautionary note, American diplomats and military people will not agree with that. That is the regional conference part of it. But I think it's inevitable if we're to defeat the Taliban and al-Qaeda in Afghanistan. Dan Rather, pleasure to see you again. Pleasure to see you. Thank, Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much for your insights. Thanks so much.